welcome to A Little Box of Paints. My name is Sophie, and today I'm going to show you how to do a cool at-home art activity with your kids using two materials that I feel a lot of us probably have on hand right now, paper towel rolls and wine corks. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the materials we're gonna use, and I'm gonna show you how you can make your own um, flower print designs for spring. Now, I will say these colors are not the colors that I would recommend you use at home with your kids, um, but these were the colors of acrylic paint that I have, so that's what I used. I'll have some more acrylic paint arriving early next week, and I'll be able to do a lot more fun um, different colored crafts and activities. But until then, I'm gonna work with what I've got. So, like I mentioned, you're gonna need a few paper towel rolls, um, as many as you can find, I guess would be great. I'm hoping some of you have been saving these uh, over the last couple weeks. And some wine corks. I'm sure you've got more than a few lying around by now. Um, it helps to have your paints ready and some trays to put your paints in. The bigger, the better. The tray lids that I'm using are actually a little small for this. So if you have paper plates that you could reuse um, for maybe another craft activity, that would be great too. Um, scissors, piece of paper. I'm gonna be using white regular drawing paper, but this would also look really cool on colored paper if you have some of that. Um, it'll help to have a Sharpie marker for the very, very end. And I'm gonna show you that at the end. In fact, the little example I just showed you isn't quite finished. Um, I'm waiting for my paint to dry. And uh, something to protect your table. I'm using my cutting mat, but I would recommend when you're working with the little ones, cover the whole table in newspaper to protect it. Um, like I said, I'm using acrylic paint, but you could use any type of craft paint for this, except watercolor. I really don't think that the paint would stick to the paper towel rolls that well. So craft paint, temper paint, that type of thing would probably work best for this. All right, so we're gonna get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is take your paper towel roll and cut it. Um, you're gonna be cutting it, and I have an example here. This one's already got some paint on it, so you can get a bit of a sneak peek of how this is done. And uh, you cut the bottom part of one side of the roll. Um, it doesn't matter how high you go up or how low. Um, for example, this one here is a little lower. It just means that the fanned out look for your flowers is or it's gonna be a little bit smaller. So that's up to you. Um, you just take your scissors. I don't measure it, I just wing it. And uh, I cut up a few centimeters. They need to kind of be similar in length, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're gonna cut that right now. Okay, awesome. And uh, then you're gonna fold it. You just press down and you fan it out. And this is actually a type of printmaking because you are taking something, uh, adding a type of ink or paint to it and then making prints of that design. And in this case, it kind of looks like a little octopus almost. Um, but in this case, it's kind of a flower design. Could work for fireworks or anything that has a similar shape to this. Cool, once that's done, um, you're basically ready to start painting. So you're gonna take your little um, paper towel roll, dip it in the paint, and start actually moving it around um, to see how it, how it ends up. Now, I'm gonna start with black. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of paint to my um, roll here. Make sure that I get it all over the bottom. When you're working with the kids, um, just double check that they've got enough paint on the bottom before they start stamping. Um, just so that they're not disappointed by not enough paint on their rolls. That's why I think having a bigger tray uh, might work better. And then you place down and you'll notice that the first time you put it down, it doesn't leave a ton of paint and that's where you're gonna twist it around and it creates that sort of soft, almost flowery lip to it, which is really cool. And you can place them all over the page. That's why you wanna make sure you have something underneath what you're working on to protect the table so you can go off the page. I'm gonna put um, three here. Awesome, so that's the first part of my flower. Um, now I'm gonna take another color, I'm gonna go with some gold, and uh, same thing, I'm actually gonna spread a bunch of gold on here and make sure that I get the whole thing covered. Now, if you put it directly on top of the black paint, which is probably still wet, it'll mix together a little bit. If you're okay with that, that's great. Another option is to wait for the paint to dry, but it could take a little bit of time. So I would suggest maybe giving this, um, allowing this to be an opportunity for your kids to experiment with a bit of color mixing and seeing what happens when they put different colors on top of other colors. So that could be a cool little learning experience. So I'm putting some gold on here. 
And the less you twist, the more visible the little spokes of your um, paper towel roll are. And I'm gonna add a few extras, just kind of coming off the side here. And I'm going to add a little bit of the white. Now the white for me is tricky. I mean, there's a good chance you're probably not using white, but any light color, like a yellow, um, just remember it's probably gonna take on a lot of the color that you place over top. So I would maybe recommend if you're using lighter colors like yellows or light pinks, maybe go with that color first and then it won't mix up. It'll stay nice and bright um, until you put other colors on top of it. Da -da -da. I like the white, just kind of brightens it up a little bit. And the white one that I'm using is my smaller cut one. So it won't extend out all the way. So sometimes with flowers, you know, you have different colors on the inside part of the petal compared to the outside. All right, great. Now the next part, um, I'll just show you what it looks like so far. Um, the next part, so here's the one that I've done and here's the one that I did previously. Okay, you can see I'm kind of running out a bit of paint on my trays with this one. Um, but the, um, little cork part comes next. It's optional, of course, just thinking if you have something extra, you can always dip it into the paint and then place it in the center to make the little, um, little center part of your flower. I'm use some gold on this one. I'm kind of running out. All right, not so bad. Um, once it's dry, the very last part that you can do is then take your piece and you can always add some stems to it. Um, that's why I have the Sharpie marker because I'm going to do it with black for mine so it goes with the motif. Um, but I mean, if you are using color, different colors with your kids, you could always use green. Um, and it really emphasizes the fact that it's flowers, totally optional. It's up to you if you want to, if you and your kids want to do that. Okay, but I'm going to add it right now. All right. And there we go. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this activity. If you end up doing this with your families at home, um, please share with me the images so that I can share them with everybody else and see what you've been working on. Um, you can find us, of course, on YouTube. The channel is Little Box of Paints. Subscribe if you'd like. I have over 20 subscribers, pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, and uh, if you wanna look at some more ideas and some short videos, I have videos for adults too, um, who wanna have a chance to kind of um, relax a little bit and unwind during, um, while they're staying at home and staying safe. Um, you can take a look on Instagram, at a little box of paints, and also there's a Facebook page, a little box of paints. So thanks for tuning in, hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to see some of the work you come up with, and uh, yeah. Have an awesome day.